The bond uniting Christians as individuals and groups with each other and with Jesus is described as communion. Topic Origin. Topic. The term is derived from Latin communio, sharing in common. This basic meaning of the word predates its Christian uses. In ancient Greek, koinonia could apply to a business partnership, to fellowship of life in marriage, to a spiritual relationship with divinity, to comradely fellowship between friends, to a community or society. Topic: New Testament. Topic: In religious contexts, communion is the usual English translation of the Greek term koinonia, koinonia which appears in the New Testament, but nowhere in the ancient Greek translation of the Old Testament known as the Septuagint, and which sometimes has a secular significance, as in the case of the partnership between fishermen spoken of in Luke chapter 5 verses 7-10. As a noun, or in its adjectival or verbal forms, it is found in 43 verses of the New Testament. In addition, the noun is found in some manuscripts used for producing the English translation known as the King James Version, but not for more recent translations in Ephesians chapter 3 verse 9. In the New Testament the word is applied, according to the context, to communion, sharing or fellowship with the divine nature 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 4, God 1 John chapter 1 verse 6, the Trinity 1 John chapter 1 verse 3, Jesus, Son of God 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 9, His sufferings Philippians chapter 3 verse 10, 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 13, His future glory 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 1, the Holy Spirit 2 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 14, Philippians chapter 2 verse 1, the blood and the body of Christ 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 16 pagan sacrifices and gods 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 18 to 20 fellow christians their sufferings and the faith acts chapter 2 verse 42 galatians chapter 2 verse 9 1 john chapter 1 verse 3 1 to 7 hebrews chapter 10 verse 33 revelation chapter 1 verse 9 philemon chapter 1 verse 6 117 a source of spiritual favors Romans chapter 11 verse 17 the gospel 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 23 light and darkness 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 14 others sufferings and consolation 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 7 Philippians chapter 4 verse 14 their evangelizing work Philippians chapter 1 verse 5 their graces or privileges Romans chapter 15 verse 27 Philippians chapter 1 verse 7 their material needs to remedy which assistance is given Romans chapter 12 verses 13 15 26 to 27 2 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 4 9 13 Galatians chapter 6 verse 6 Philippians chapter 4 verse 15, 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 18, Hebrews chapter 13 verse 16. The evil deeds of others, Matthew chapter 23 verse 30, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 11, 1 Timothy chapter 5 verse 22, 2 John chapter 1 verse 11, Revelation chapter 18 verse 4. The bodily human nature all have in common, Hebrews chapter 2 verse 14. A work partnership, secular or religious, Luke chapter 5 verse 10, 2 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 23. Of these usages, Bromiley's International Standard Bible Encyclopedia selects as especially significant the following meanings: I common life in general, only in Acts chapter 2 verse 42. 2. Communion between particular groups, the most remarkable instance of which was that between Jews and Gentiles. 3. Communion in the body and blood of Christ IV. Sharing in divine revelation and with God himself 1 John 1 verses 1 to 7 Aspects Between churches by metonymy, the term is used of a group of Christian churches that have this close relationship of communion with each other. An example is the Anglican Communion. If the relationship between the churches is complete, involving fullness of those bonds of communion, faith, sacraments and pastoral governance, that permit the faithful to receive the life of grace within the church, it is called full communion. However, the term, full communion, 
is frequently used in a broader sense, to refer instead to a relationship between Christian churches that are not united, but have only entered into an arrangement whereby members of each church have certain rights within the other. If a church recognizes that another church, with which it lacks bonds of pastoral governance, shares with it some of the beliefs and essential practices of Christianity, it may speak of partial communion between it and the other church. Topic. Communion of saints Topic. The communion of saints is the relationship that, according to the belief of Christians, exists between them as people made holy by their link with Christ. That this relationship extends not only to those still in earthly life, but also to those who have gone past death to be away from the body and at home with the Lord. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 8 is a general belief among Christians. Their communion is believed to be a vital fellowship between all the redeemed, on earth and in the next life, that is based on the common possession of the divine life of grace that comes to us through the risen Christ. Since the word rendered in English as saints can mean not only holy people, but also holy things. Communion of saints also applies to the sharing by members of the Church in the holy things of faith, sacraments especially the Eucharist, and the other spiritual graces and gifts that they have in common. The term, communion, is applied to sharing in the Eucharist by partaking of the consecrated bread and wine, an action seen as entering into a particularly close relationship with Christ. Sometimes the term is applied not only to this partaking but to the whole of the rite or to the consecrated elements. See also Topic. Closed communion Open communion Transubstantiation Topic. References Topic. Topic. Bibliography Topic. Nas Exhaustive Concordance of the Bible with Hebrew Aramaic and Greek Dictionaries. The Lachman Foundation. 1998-1981. Bramiley, Jeffrey W. 1979. The International Standard Bible Encyclopedia. Grand Rapids, Michigan, William B. Eerdmans Publishing Co. Robert Porter Lynch, Minon Prozonic. 2006. How the Greeks Created the First Golden Age of Innovation. Word document. P. 14. Retrieved 8 April 2007. Richards, Lawrence O. 1985. Expository Dictionary of Bible Words. Grand Rapids, Michigan, Zondervan Corporation. Thayer, Joseph H. 1885. Greek-English Lexicon of the New Testament. Grand Rapids, Michigan, Zondervan Publishing House. Verna Lewis Elgadeli Koinonia in the Three Great Abrahamic Faiths, Acclaiming the Mystery and Diversity of Faiths Cloverdale Books 2007, ISBN 978-1-929569-37-3 External links Topic. Fellowship is defined in the New Testament Broken but never divided, an orthodox perspective Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith, letter to the bishops of the Catholic Church on some aspects of the Church understood as communion.